This week on The Wire, buyer activity up across nation, households shore up finances and home values hold strong. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So our top story for this week, buyer activity up across the nation. So home buyer interest is up almost half on this time last year, and that's according to property search data from realestate.com.au. Compared to April last year, the number of people searching for a home in New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia is almost 40% higher. Prospective buyers have adapted smoothly to new digitized ways of doing business as they continue to search for their new home. With in-person auctions being banned, open home inspections having been changed to private viewings, resulting in a huge increase in digital inspections and also private treaties. Some agents claim to have as many as 80% of their purchases are now off-market properties. Prospective buyers have viewed over 3 million digital inspections since March 30, with a more than 300% increase in views of 3D tours since the first week of March. Thomas McGlynn, National Head of Sales at the agency, says there's still a healthy amount of people with an appetite for buying real estate. And now guys, for our next story. Households shore up finances. So households are saving money by being frugal during lockdown, and that suggests figures from the Commonwealth Bank. Most households have the same income as before, but greatly reduced expenditure, giving them the opportunity to add savings and pay off debt. Banks are still lending and a significant number of households are also better off because of stimulus payments. Based on the bank's credit and debit card transactions, overall spending for the week ended April 17 was almost 20% lower than a year ago. But the fall was not matched in wages and salaries, which decreased by only 6.7% between March 14 and April 4, and that's coming from ABS figures. Since the start of the pandemic, banks have produced 45, sorry, provided $45 billion in new loans to businesses, including nearly $8.5 billion to 23,000 small businesses and another $6 billion in extended credit. Unemployment benefits, renamed from New Start Allowance to Job Seeker Payment, have been doubled to $565.70 for a single person with no dependents. The Job Keeper Payment of $1,500 a fortnight will come into effect in May. And now, guys, for our final story of the week home values hold strong. The national home values rose 0.3% in April with regional areas as well as most of the capital cities all delivering some level of increase and that's according to CoreLogic's Hedonic Home Value Index published earlier in May. Capital city house prices are now almost 10% higher than they were in April 2019 despite the recent impact of the coronavirus. Regional areas have also performed well with prices up over 3% in the last 12 months. Realestate.com.au Chief Economist Nerida Connorsby says I'm feeling much more confident about market conditions than I was in mid-March, but we're not out of the woods yet. During April, Darwin took the lead with an almost 2% increase to deliver a median dwelling value of $402,000. Sydney and Adelaide, uh, sorry, Sydney and Adelaide followed with 0.4% growth to register median dwelling values of $890,000 and $439,000 respectively. Brisbane grew 0.3% in April to achieve a median value of $508,000, while Perth was up 0.3% to $448,000. Tasmania remains the best regional performer, recording 1.3% uplift in April and securing a 9% growth rate over the last year. Well, guys, they're the top stories for this week. Now, please remember to like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you want to submit a question or there is a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there is a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, it's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, and see ya.